This is Sarah. Just want to share um, what I made for the February Your Paper Pantry Charm Swap. And um, it's sewing and fabric. And um, I thought that was kind of a fun twist. So um, I joined and um, we basically had free reign to do whatever we were inspired to do in that theme. So I started out with some natural colored muslin and started using some stamps um, made a couple little banners this one stamp sunshine and I'm not sure how well it shows up on here but um, I did use um, some pink to stamp in the background and then just folded it over and sewed it kind of messy I wanted it to have that homemade look so I didn't try to be too neat with it um, put a grandma in it um, the other banner just a little one I had kind of a, a banner background so you could just stop stamp um, a solid color and then in black used the best moment stamp and a little bird stamp I had and same thing just sewed around it in a contrasting color and and put a grommet in it. This one, I was just stamping some green dots. Um, I have a texture stamp that I have. So I've got that on both sides. And then I just took a Sharpie um, in a color that I liked and quickly drew some, some hearts on them and then did some stitching with a sewing machine just kind of being messy with it and having fun. So then I did some grommets and added a bead dangle to the bottom. And then I decided to make a fabric tassel. So I um, used the muslin and then I had some other lightweight cotton that I stamped on and cut into strips. Used some different fibers and, and ribbons. And then I drilled a hole in the top of a metal thimble. Um, these are new ones. I just got them at Joann's they, when they were on sale. So I used them and um, just took my fabric ribbons right in the middle. I twisted wire around it, stuck it through the top of the thimble and did a little wire wrapped loop on there. And then I added a few more beads and, and dangles that matched. I had these little they might be crocheted. I actually got these at um, Walmart once and I thought they were so cute. Like a dollar or two for the package. So um, I stuck some jump rings through the crocheted part and added some sewing charms. We got a little ruler and sewing machine on this one. These are the only things that are different. In the other ones there are a couple that have sewing scissors instead of these ones. Um, this one I stuffed, I put a little bit of cotton ball inside it when I was stitching it. Added some beads to that. And then I found these, these were also at Walmart, but I thought they were really cute because they have that lacy pattern, so kind of go along with the fabric and sewing theme. And then I've had this paper in my stash that was pink and had the um, sewing pattern print on it. So I used that for my tags and just backed it with some um, cardstock and of course used some distressed ink on it and some ribbon I had that looks like a little measuring tape. And I just have clear plastic bags. I'm sticking those in and I'm all done. So. I'm actually going to get those in the mail early this month. Hope everybody's having a great February. Um, I know most places are cold and dreary. And here in eastern Washington, it's not as cold as we would like, actually. And we did get some snow, but then today it all melted. And strange, because we usually are supposed to have the, the snowy winter. And other parts of the country are having way too much of it. So... Not going to say I'm jealous, but I would like to have some snow instead of the brown and dreary. So, hope everybody's staying warm and healthy and happy and crafty, and uh, I'll talk to you soon.